All right, here we go. Yeah. We have one of New York's hot up and coming artists, Ron Suno in the building. Yeah, Ron Suno, you know the vibes, man. They know the scouts from here. If they ain't from here, they can't come here. You feel me? You know that. Now they could come here, but they gotta ask me first. You feel me? They gotta ask me. Like, <laughs> all right. Like, Welcome to Vlad TV, man. Now, thanks for having me. It's about time. I ain't gonna lie. This was my goal all my life. Like, yo, one day I'm gonna get on Vlad TV because I, for me as a kid, I was watching this shit and like watching all the influencers do it. It's like, nah, for me, one day I see myself doing the same thing. You heard? Well, yeah. I mean, I love when I hear stuff like that because we launched in 2008. And yeah. a lot of the a lot of the young young adults that we interview these days were like kids, yeah. were like in junior high or elementary school when we first came out. So to to have people look up and want to do something like this, you know, get on Vlad TV, then actually make it and feel like they've made it, that, that to me is a big accomplishment. Yeah, that's a big accomplishment, especially coming from like the trenches. Like for me, I'm from the Bronx, so I'm only 19. Like when I was watching, I was eight years old. Like you feel me? So I've been y'all. I had my little. Playboy, you feel me? What's that shit called? Game, GameCube? What's the shit called? Yeah, Nintendo SD. I had my Nintendo SD. It was lit. It was outside. That ass. All right, well, this is your first time here, so I want to get into your whole story. So, you grew up in uh, the Bronx, yeah, Co op City. Yeah, Co op City. That's a fact. You feel me? Co op City. It's nothing really around there. You feel me? You about the water, no trains. You feel me? You like isolated from everybody in the Bronx. So, it's like a different type of world over there. Okay, uh, section three, right? Section three, you feel me? Shout out to my threes, you feel me? Like, you know what's going on. Okay, so what was Co-op City like when you were growing up? So Co-op City for me, it was more like everybody doing their own thing because it's different sections, you feel me? You got sec one, sec two, sec three, sec four, sec five, and like everybody doing their own thing, but we all had one vision was to be a rapper. Like everybody in Co-op would go to be a rapper. Like if you was a rapper in my hood, you made it. Like, you feel me? Like a stamp rapper. Like you had to have a solidified fan base, all that. So growing up, everybody was fighting for that spot. So like, I had a lot of people around me that was doing the same thing I was doing. So like, I was already influenced by rapping, you feel me? Like, cause I started out rapping. I didn't even start out with comedy. So me growing up for me, it was just music, 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 going to school out there and a lot of females, you feel me? Cause I'm like a ladies man. So I always be with the females around my block. So I just be chilling. But nonetheless, you feel me? I was playing ball for me. I was getting in trouble too, but for me, that shit, those days is over, bro, for me. Those days is over. Oh, okay, because I mean everyone knows about the Bronx. Yeah, and the Bronx has a really I mean, hip hop started in the Bronx. Yeah, the Bronx. <laughs> so, like so the Bronx has a has a stamped uh hip hop history, but Co op City you don't really hear about. Are there any rappers that came out of Co op City? Um that actually made it. Um nah, but it, the thing is though, nobody really ever like paid attention to Co-op City. We was like one of those people that was underground. We had to fight for our respect to get known because we didn't have nobody that 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 had that connection with Co-op City. You feel me? So it was like only rapper that I could say was known. Damn, I don't even nah. Damn. But that's my goal, you feel me, to get everybody lit out there, you feel me? So we gonna make people know, you feel me? So shit crazy. But you know the vibes though. We still working to get to the top. You feel me? Bronx over yeah, there. Shout You're to putting Co-op City on your back right now. Yeah, for me. I, but the thing is, though, I, I'm, I'm from Co-op, but I fuck with everybody in the Bronx, though. For me, like, I'm international. Like, everywhere I go in the Bronx, you feel me, is love. So, like, I got the Bronx on my back right now. Okay. Now, you grew up with both parents, just your mom, just your dad? Mm, I grew up with both my parents. That's crazy. Yeah, it works. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Still, right. to this day, I live with both my parents. Yeah. <laughs> That's, dope. What? That's dope. You know, because, I mean, people say... You know, oh well, you know, a mom could be your mom and your dad and so forth. But I really think that you need a father to raise a man. Yeah, you don't need a father. You just need a, a lot of life experience for yourself. You feel me? Like once you go through things in your life, everything's become a lesson. And you just learn from your mistakes. You know what I mean? So okay, okay. People and uh, siblings, brothers, sisters. Yeah, I'm actually the youngest. You feel me? So like, I got two brothers, two sisters. They all older than me. For me, I'm the youngest. So in the kid, I was always the spoiled one. You feel me? Well, so okay. Five kids, uh, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a lot going on in my house. So me having sisters, I was not playing with no nigga, even me, no man. They can't talk to my sister unless they approve to me. You know me? So like right. her having boyfriends, she was not, it was not valid in the house. You know me? So, uh, you know, okay, brother, uh, you know, I mean, was it rough? For your parents, I mean, even though you had two parents in the home, I mean, five kids, that's that's expensive. I mean, was it was it rough? Were your parents trying to raise that many kids? You know what's crazy? Like, I never had a rough childhood. Like, I never had a rough childhood. Like, everything was actually smooth to me because, you know, the thing about me, I'm a smart kid. Like, 
And the thing with my parents, they always knew to keep me out of trouble. So it was like, they always had money. So whenever I needed to go somewhere, I was occupied by playing basketball. Like certain shot was valid, you feel me? But um, only thing that got messed up was me going to school. Like, you feel me? That was the only thing hard for me was going to school, bro. Like, cause at the end of the day, me trying to grind and get my career started and going to school was like too much, too much for me, for me. So I couldn't do it. So I dropped out, like, got eyes. Okay. And, and I want to get to that. But, but before we talk about you dropping out of school, there was a, a situation in third grade where you were playing truth or dare. Oh, third grade. <laughs> was it third grade or was it later? Oh yeah, third grade. Yo, what's the? <laughs> I thought you talk about sex sexual. I'm like, oh, truth or dare. Nah, I know you talk about. I was my friend. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that situation. So I guess oh, you were playing truth or dare, and someone dared you to to touch a cop's gun. Yeah, yo, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Like the thing about me, I was a crazy kid. Like. Like, I'll do anything. That's the thing about me. Out of all the friends in my school, like, I was one of the kids when we played, like, Ding Dong Dish and all that, I was the one knocking on the door, you heard? If anybody wanted me to do something, like, say if it was, like, a problem with anybody in the group and they needed to address somebody, I'd be like, yo, you feel me? I'm gonna do that, you feel me? Because I had, you feel me? So, long story short, I remember I was in third grade. This is, like, after school program, you feel me? This is, like, everybody go to after school program. This is after school, so... There's this cop that used to come after school to check on the um, kids, to make sure they safe, you know, all that good stuff. So my man's like, yo, bro, I give you, I give you $10 right now, truth or dare, if you go test the cop gun. I'm like, nigga, I'll do it right now. What you mean, you feel me? So mind you, I'm wild scared, because you already know this is a cop. Like, you can't play with cops like that, but I already know I'm in third grade. They can't do nothing to me crazy. Loud, what you talking about? So long story short, I go up to the cop, she talking to the lady, I touch her like this, she grabbed my arm, almost arrest me. Now they, you feel me? Jack and free me in third grade. Like, I went to detention and all that. For me, word. Shit was crazy. Ever since then, I wasn't cool with my mans for like a year, because he got me in trouble. I was going to snitch him, but snitching gets snitches, and I wasn't going to go like that, you feel me? But I was going to say, he told me to do it. Fuck what you talking about? You told me to do it. So how I'm going to get in trouble for you telling me what to do? Hey, what you talking about? They bugging out. But I'm good, though, you feel me? Like, two years later, I said, I, I seen the same cop, right? She came up to me and she was like, you the same one that touched the gun. I'm like, yo, listen, that wasn't even me. That was my brother. You feel me? I got a twin brother. And that is not a word, though. Crazy okay. Shit, crazy shit. So you're getting a little bit older mm -hmm. and you started to get suspended from school like every year. Yeah, every year, bro. Every year. Fighting. Like, what were you doing to get suspended? A lot of fighting. It was because you know what it is? Like, me going to school, like, high school days, like, I was getting suspended every day. Like, because the thing in high school, I was already lit. You feel me? I already was having a movement in the Bronx. You feel me? I started out rapping, so people already knew me from rapping. They didn't really know my skits like that, but they knew the music I was putting out around the neighborhood. So long story short, I was just getting suspended for fighting because a lot of haters was hating on me. You feel me? Then... I would get suspended for skipping school because I was skipping school for a good purpose, though. It wasn't even like I was skipping school to be a bad kid. I was skipping school to go to the studio. I was skipping school to, to, to work on my craft. Like, I wasn't even trying to do nothing bad behind, like, closed doors. So me just, like, staying out of school, it made me realize, like, it's not something I want to do, but I was doing it because my parents wanted me to do it. So me telling them, like, school not for me, and they understood the vision that I had, I just went crazy right after, you feel me? Okay, so what year did you drop out? I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy to say I dropped out senior year. Really? Yeah, I was gonna graduate. I was like, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. It was hard. Like, you know what it is? Because you got everybody. The thing is, this is what people got to understand, you feel me? And, and I'm not trying to say don't go to school because school is important, but I want to say this too. If you coming up as a rapper, a comedian, entertainer, public figure, and you go to school, you got to realize growing up in school is going to stop your worth. You feel me? People not going to respect you if they see you every day. They respect you more when they don't see you because it's like your worth becomes higher. So me going away from school is keep people respecting my craft because it's like, oh, he a regular person. I see him every day. How he lit. You feel me? So me getting out of school is getting people like, oh, nah, he not in school no more. This nigga is doing something else. He probably in Cali. He probably with Jay-Z or something. He not in school doing tests with us. He over here having fun, you feel me? So that's like another thing for me, like that, that perspective of people understanding like if you're not around, your worth becomes higher. So that's why I, got, I really dropped out. 